I'm going to explain how and why to use the synchronize button in the proposal. This is an example of a proposal. And you can see the total price in the proposal is $59,097. Now here's something that happens fairly frequently when you're estimating projects. Let's say you get done bidding this job, or get done estimating it, I should say, and then you realize that you forgot something. Well, I'm going to go back to the recap here. I'll click on the recap button. I'm going to say I forgot to put a fuel charge in for my expenses. So I'll drill down here to my expenses. I'm going to click the link here. It'll open up dialog box here. There's a category for fuel. And I'm going to say I forgot to add, I want to add $200 for fuel. So I type in 200 here. I'll scroll up to the top. Save and close. Now keep in mind, whenever you add anything to your estimate, you have your markup here set at, uh, this is just an example, but the markup, the overhead is set at 12% and the profit is set at 8%. So when I added that $200 for fuel, it marked it up 12 and 8, and it displays a new total in the recap. Okay. Well, the program doesn't automatically change the number in the proposal. You have to synchronize it. So I'm going to scroll up to the top. I'm going to go to Proposal RCO here, go back to my proposal. Notice the proposal is still the same number that it was. I'm going to click the Synchronize button to synchronize it with the recap. When I click on it, it shows a screen here. Now, in a nutshell, the bottom here where it says Current Line Items, that's how the proposal is set up now, $59,097. And at the top, it says Synchronize Line Items. That means when I synchronize it's going to update to what the, what the uh, recap shows, $59,345. Click the Synchronize button at the top. When I do it, synchronizes with the recap. Okay, So that's when and how you use the Synchronize button in your proposal.